Hey everybody, what's going on? Jermaine Sproma here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about an update that happened to GoodLock 2019, which gives the ability of having the Samsung official LED notification that goes around the camera cutout or the Infinity O display. So the first step you want to do is download the application called GoodLock 2019. Now, if you already have GoodLock 2019, just go through and give it a update. Now you're able to update as well as download this application by going inside of your application tray. Now inside of the application tray on the very top right hand side, you'll see three little dots and click on Galaxy Essentials. So this is the application store that's made by Samsung for Samsung. And this is where you go to the very top and you simply search for GoodLock 2019. Now mine already auto populates since I've already downloaded and searched for this application. Once you click here, this is where you go inside of uh, either update or install and download. And once you have that, you're able to get it opened up. Now I will be doing a updated video talking everything that is brand new with GoodLock 2019 because on the bottom you'll see that there's a couple different additions. Now because we are talking about that LED light on the very top right hand side, so this way you don't have to get a third party application that there is one out there. It's very intuitive. It's very complicated. It actually made my phone clunky and also slow and I started to see a little bit of stuttering when I'm scrolling through applications. This is the way you're able to get it officially from Samsung and I'm super glad it came. Now right over here you want to click on family. So again inside of GoodLock go to the right hand tab called family and this is where you download Edge Lighting Plus and there you can see the option to do the little eclipse on the very top which is what the effect is called. Now one of the things you'll also notice is a lot of additional edge lighting that you're able to do. So beforehand you already had wave, you also had bubble, multicolor, glow, as well as glitter. And then these ones over here is going to be new. So you also have this one right here called fluid. Here is boomerang where you can see it pretty much boomerang on back. You also have galaxy, you have loop, as well as celebrate, which this one is actually pretty cool. It gives a little bit of a celebration, uh, a bunch of different dots that's going around. And then this is the one that we wanted to talk about today, which is Eclipse. Now with all of these ones over here, you can see that there's a lot more options. You change your color, transparency, the width, as well as duration. Now, when you go back, let me go back over here into the effect of Eclipse, you'll see you can change effect, color and duration. So this is where you can change the color if you want it to be a specific color. You can also go through the custom colors. So in this way you can have it go through by application. So Facebook could be a lighter blue. Instagram is this orangish color, which is pretty much that color on the very bottom left hand side. Messages is gonna be a darker blue. Snapchat is yellow. WhatsApp is green. And you can really go through here. You can change them. You can reset them. You can make it look pretty much however you would like. So let's go back over into the duration. Um, you can change it if you want it to be kind of medium. Uh, you can also have it long. And then, so I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna make it green. Uh, and then again, the effect is underneath Eclipse and then you just hit on done. So this time, if someone was to shoot you a text message, if you get a WhatsApp or Facebook or whatever you get, um, instead of having the edge lighting go all the way around the entire phone, you can see that you will still get your little pop-up right there, which you can actually slide down and it opens up a pop-up view of text message. And you'll also get that little edge lighting on the very top. So let's say that I go into the lock screen. Let's see what happens um, when the screen is fully off. You can see it only illuminates around the ring of the camera, which is also called Infinity O. Now, one of my favorite things about this application of GoodLock 2019 is that because it's not a third party application, when you actually have this one already downloaded, if you go inside of your settings on the very top and you pull down your quick settings, when you press and hold on edge lighting, you'll see that underneath the edge lighting style, Eclipse is there. So once you already have this one downloaded, you don't have to go back inside of GoodLock 2019 and everything that you already went through and you set up, you, you know, your color, the duration, your style, everything else, it's all going to be there. So I just think that that's just what is fantastic about GoodLock 2019 and why it's best just to wait and not get a third party application. So then this way, you don't have to again, open up GoodLock 2019, go inside of your edge lighting settings, 
go inside of the style and there you go you have your eclipse which is the led light on the very top right hand side and again you can change when you want it to show which i have mine set up for always uh, the edge lighting interaction is going to be there which is you know if you see that little uh, bubble on the very top right hand side if you're to tap that or swipe it you'll get that pop up to perform several different actions if you swipe down um, again it's going to pop up your uh, small little bubble that small little quick pop-up text message and if you swipe it away then it'll go away so that pretty much sums up this portion of the video I really only want to talk about that LED light on the very top right hand side um, and I was actually gonna call it and make a video a couple weeks ago about that third-party application that says you know what guys this application is slow it's clunky it's very intuitive um, it's very invasive you might as well wait for good luck to bring it to you because this was a huge deal that a lot of people loved um, there's also that little battery indicator light that I also shot a video for before if you'd like to see that battery indicator on the very top right hand side I'll also place a link for that below the video but you can see that I also took that one off as well because it, I don't really need it um, it's actually just super simple to see my little uh, battery percentage on the very top right hand side uh, but again you might as well wait if you'd like it to be more of a notification light so with the previous phones with that LED light on the top left hand side it would blink to remind you that you have text messages and such I have a feeling that that's probably going to be added into this as well if it's not inside of unit then it might just be inside of family where it might be a notification light that would be using this top right hand side which I have a feeling Samsung will probably bust that out because I think a lot of people are requesting that um, but other than that this is a really fun way that you can have your edge lighting work for you around your Infinity O display instead of just around the phone itself. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side, that little red circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And again, stay tuned for a full recap of everything that's brand new on this Good Lock 2019. That'll be an upcoming video. And yes, I am back. It's been forever since I shot a video. It's been probably about three weeks, but I just got done moving. Uh, my internet will actually come one week from today. Um, so I'll be heading over to the old house to get this one uploaded. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.